Greetings and salutations. Welcome to yet another edition of Newton GMAT Math. We've got a rather tricky problem-solving question to deal with here today that's going to test your knowledge of and facility with prime numbers and... Exponents! Uh, yeah, exponents, yes. So, let's see, we've got 2 to the A times 5 to the B equals 800. And that means we're going to have to break down the 800 into its prime factors using a... Factor tree! Factor tree, um... And if we do this, we see that 800 breaks down into 400 times 2. Break that down into 200 times 2. Break that down into 100 times 2. Break that down into 50 times 2. 50 becomes 25 times 2, and the 25... So we count up our prime factors, and we see that there are a total of 5 2s and a total of 2 5s, so it's 2 to the 5th times 5 squared equals 800. So that means A equals 5 and B equals 2. Now we just start to plug it into our equation and see what happens. Uh, precisely. Uh, now that we've found variable values, we, we can, can say, say that A minus 2 is actually 5, five minus, minus 2, which equals, equals three, 3, so it's... We can say that A minus 2 is actually 5 minus 2, which equals 3. Repetition for learning. Say it over and over and over and over till you learn it. Well, now that that's over with, we can put 2 to the third power in our numerator. Numerator's just a nerdy word for top. And our denominator Adam. is 5 to the B minus 3. And says my B equals 2. It's 5 to the negative 1. But a negative exponent in the denominator. Huh, how am I supposed to deal with that? Don't try to be funny. Fair enough. Well, 5 to the negative 1 is 1 over 5 to the 1. And dividing by 1 fifth is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, which is 5. Got a nose exponent rules. So 2 cubed times 5 is 40. And so we see that the answer is A. You know something, RoboMath? What's that? You're all right. <laughs> you are too. Let's go study some GMAT questions. <laughs>